AB, we're going to pivot now. The other team, they lost their center. And apparently, Jason Kelsey is the most sought-after person in all of football. He gets hired by the ESPN, and now the Eagles are offering him a spot to be a coach and a scout. Their number, according to DraftKings, is the exact same, 10 and a half at minus 130. So where are we going? Over, under with the Eagles. Over 10 and a half wins as well. This team won 11 games last year and completely quit on their coaching staff, right? I mean, that's how good that this team is. I think that Jalen Hurts has a better year. A.J. Brown has I, I just the entire team. Plus, you add in Saquon Barkley as well to that squad. I think that Philly is going to be all over it. I'll take that over 10 and a half. I'll eat the juice at minus 130. They had an unbelievable start last year. And to AB's point, they finished 11 and six. That was good for second in the NFC East. They lost to the Bucks and the fighting Baker Mayfields. What are we doing, Z man? Over under this year. No, uh, I, I I like the under here. You know, they lost the Super Bowl a couple years ago. It's very difficult. You rarely see the team that loses the Super Bowl winds up having a great year the next year. And it looked like the Eagles were doing that. I mean, they won their first walls at seven or eight games of the season, but they totally implode late in the year. I, I, I can't, I have to go under here because what I saw those last few weeks of the season was arguably the worst team in the NFL. And that wild card weekend against Tampa, they were the worst team in the NFL that week. They would have lost to every single team in the NFL that wild card weekend. It was a disgrace. I got to go under here until this team proves me different. The way I think I was at an event in, in Florida, wasn't it uh, the 49ers that laid them out on a Sunday night last year? I mean, just laid them out. I think we saw that in receivers when they went in and just buried the Eagles. And that was really uh, the start of all of that. Great job, Z man. All right, Raphael, come on over. We've got an over and we have an under. Where are you headed? Man, me and Z can have our own show mix match because I totally disagree with him on this one. <laughs> I like to over on this one. This is a totally different staff that the Eagles have. They're the offensive coordinator. They're going to be throwing a lot of slants, quick passes. I think Jalen Hurts has a big year. I'm going over this one. I think they win the division. Sorry, spoiler alert, down a couple of weeks. I just don't see them not having a good season. And I'm tired of these internet experts saying, oh, but they're missing their center. Since when is a center a most important part of an NFL team? I'm sorry. It's really not, but I I'm sorry. I think the Eagles bounce back, brand new regime. I think the backfield, like the running game is going to be very impressive. And I think the secondary is going to be very impressive this year as well. I think the Eagles way over 10 and a half. I feel like you need to be a guest on Zazzle's show 2.0. I think that would be very, very entertaining. All right, Charles, I'm coming over to you. Are you going to make it a tie or not? Oh, I'm echoing a ref. Yeah, I'm going with that over 10 and a half Eagles. I mean, look at their division. They could sweep that division they're in as well. Plus, to get the uh, NFC South, they could sweep that. Um, and they play the Steelers, the Jaguars, and the Packers as well. I could see those all victories. So, way over in this one, I think they uh, they dominate. Um, I think 10 and a half is a great number. Z-Man, you're on an island all by yourself, it looks like, with the Eagles this year, sir. Listen, not everybody's perfect. You're going to be wrong sometimes, so I'm sorry, guys. Like, you know, we can still be friends. I'll still be all right with you. Don't worry about it. By the way, week one for the Eagles, isn't it in Brazil? Very first game in Brazil, correct? On yes. a Friday night against Jordan Love, that new contract, and the Green Bay Packers. Interesting. Chiefs, September 5th. Eagles September 6th, but AB, let me come back to you. Let's talk future prop. Where are you headed? Saquon Barkley, brand new running back for the Philadelphia Eagles. Three or more touchdowns against the Giants, all right, at plus 225. Saquon's former team, the New York Giants. Remember, they play them twice. All we have to do is get three touchdowns in both of those games of the regular season. And note, that does not say three rushing touchdowns wow. three touchdowns he catches them too and think about this you know what the one thing you talk about the center position for philadelphia the tush push that they owned i'm not saying it's gone but kelsey <laughs> was a massive part of that saquon's gonna steal a few get a couple revenge tds yeah take that plus 225 
AB, real quick, Matty Ice in the chat may have the line of the day. He says, really? Three or more in two games for Saquon? Yeah. <laughs> we know yeah. he gets hurt a lot. We know that. <laughs> that is hilarious. That's hilarious. But I think playing for a good team, he might not have to carry as much as he did in New York. And Giants, by the way, don't let the cameras in when you're talking about Saquon. Please. That was embarrassing. Z-Man, let me come over to you. Eagles future prop. Talk to me. Yeah, I'm going to go with Josh Sweat. I'm going to go with the linebacker over seven and a half sacks this season, minus 115. You know, the last three years, he's averaged eight sacks, a little more than eight sacks in a season. So this is why the number is right there. But those last three years where he averaged eight sacks a season also include one year where he had 11 sacks, all right? So he's capable of putting up double digits. You know, what, what you really got to do is you got to get that one game where he gets two sacks, you know, mm -hmm. if he has the one big game and then you're thinking, all right, you know, five and a half sacks. And, and remember you get credit for half a sack. All right. So seven and a half, the number it, it comes into play, but if you get that one big game where you get two sacks, then you're cooking. So I'm going I'm to go with the linebacker over seven and a half sacks on the season. Z man brings up a good point. We don't talk about defensive props a lot. We are this year on driving the line. We're not going to ignore the defense because there's a lot of props out there that you can play that will cash. We'll do it on DTL after dark every single primetime game. We will have a live show leading up to kickoff. Raphael, futures, Eagles, go. Yeah, I'm going to piggyback a little bit on what Zaz said. The T uh, Eagles team total, I think, is 48 and a half sacks. I like that over. I just the defense is going to be really, really key for the Eagles. So I'm going to piggyback on that one. But I think Jalen Hurts is going to have a big year. Last year, he threw for 23 touchdowns. This year, new offensive coordinator going to get the ball out of his hands quicker. I think he has a lot of slam passes that go to get large. I, I just like 22 and a half. I think as he flies over this, would not be shocked if he gets like 24, 25, really, or like maybe week 15. And then maybe you just calm it down a little bit because they'll easily won a division. And it's great when great minds think alike because I'm looking at Raphael's name and I'm looking at Charles's name. I do not like or let them talk to each other. But Charles, you have the exact same play. Why? Yeah, we're on the same wavelength today, Raphael. Absolutely. He had 23 last year. Um, I think that uh, – and that was with a run-heavy offense as well. I think with Saqu Saquon coming over as well, they're going to have more him uh, in the passing game as well. So uh, you pair that A.J. Brown, Goddard, uh, Devontae Smith as well. I think um, they're going to uh, let the reins a little bit uh, loose on Jalen as well. So 23 is a great number. We'll go ahead and take over 22 and a half. Uh, Jalen Hurts touchdowns passing. All right. If you know, you know. By the way, Soupy's going to be our resident uh, fantasy expert here on DTL. He's in the chat, and he says Jalen Hurts will be the QB1 in fantasy this year. Any fantasy questions all year, send them over to Soupy. He will answer them for you in real time. Gentlemen, well done. Well freaking done. Two teams down, 30 to go, and I am here for it.